speak with you for a moment? A moment is about all I have! Why aren't your kids asleep? I haven't had a chance to sing to them yet. I always sing them to sleep. Unfortunately, my husband is rather demanding and rather hungry as well, and it's going to be a while before he finishes his dinner. I used to sing at the Pelly Opera. Perhaps I could sing for them. Would that help you? Certainly. If you can get my kids to fall asleep, then once my husband finishes his dinner, I should be able to help you out with whatever you need. Why is your husband so hungry? Good question. Apparently, sitting around on your ass all day doing nothing but drinking, yelling, and passing gas that could choke a mule generates quite an appetite. How did you meet your husband? When I was many years younger, my father accidentally ran him over with our family carriage. The magistrate ordered my father to pay for his medical expenses, but my family didn't have any money, so I agreed to live with him and work as his servant to pay off the debt. And since the two of you fell in love? No! And then my family's house burnt down and I had no place left to go. It sounds like something out of a fairy tale that Edgar Allan Poe might have written. Have you ever thought about leaving your husband? I've thought about it ten times since you first entered the room. Unfortunately, he owns a shop and everything in it. I would have to leave penniless and without my children. Yeah, leaving penniless would definitely be bad. Why do you have all those dishes in the kitchen? I had to take an extra job to pay for all my husband's food and beer. I earned a little money selling gift plates door to door and washing dishes. Without the extra income, he would eat everything and the kids would go hungry. Who is paying you to wash the dishes? I'm doing some food service work for the stadium. Tonight they're having a benefit for the Association of Draxylvanian Constables. I already finished cooking for them. In fact, I just doused my cooking fire. Now I have to wash all of their dishes. In addition to that, I have to stack and organize the gift plates in a special way so they're easier to sell door to door. I make everyone stay out of the kitchen! What are your children's names? Siegfried and Roy. I bet they get picked on a lot. True. Not the most manly names in the world, but again, my husband likes them. He thought it would toughen them up if they got picked on a lot. So far, I think it just made them more hyperactive, insensitive, and demanding. Still, gotta love them! No, you don't got to. Shh! Do you happen to have any black cloth available? Yes, I think I have some stashed away someplace. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to get it for you until my kids are asleep and my husband is done with his dinner. Thank you for talking with us. It's a chair. People usually use them to keep their backsides off the ground. I like talking to things on occasion, but not with that. I don't need to move it right now, but it's good to know it's there just in case. It's a loft where the children sleep. Or bounce around incessantly. Is it just me? Or do those kids have an awful lot of energy? Hello, Abzil! Mom says we're not supposed to yell down from the loft. So if you don't want to get yelled at by my mom for yelling, you better stop yelling at us from down there! It's some kind of toy. I've heard about those. It's one of those new transfigurers. Uh, you think it's just an old carriage, but then you move the pieces around and suddenly you've got a wooden Indian. No. Boring conversational is that. I'm a little too old to be playing with toys. It's a clothes hamper filled with dirty laundry. It looks like these kids get into everything. 
Their shirts are covered with mud, chocolate sauce, paint, blood, and what appears to be bear feces. These kids must be a lot to handle. I can't really talk to that. What? Just because I am a woman, you think I should fold their laundry? What are you, some kind of chauvinist? In their defense, Mona, it is 1895. Maybe you should look through that pile of clothes and find yourself a nice pair of shorts to eat. It appears to be a Queen Victoria action figure. I wonder if they also have the Prince Albert Summer Playhouse set. It features a built-in tea set, fox hunting stallions, and of course, a jacuzzi. Talking with that would not be fun. I don't collect dolls, just teapots. Plus, there's something strange about one of their dolls' hands. You're right, Mona. It looks like it's the ultra-rare Queen Victoria variant that features a fully extended middle finger on the left hand. That thing would be worth a lot of money, if it was still in the box. It's a children's dresser. It's packed full of clothes and other random items. I don't really want to strike up a conversation with that. I better not. Whatever's in there doesn't smell very good. It's an assortment of random objects. I would like to talk to that, but it lacks brains, lungs, and interesting thoughts to share. I'm not a nerd, so I'll just leave those alone. That's a rather odd-looking item. I wonder what it's used for. Parents use those to give themselves a break from their kids. I don't talk to things like that. I wouldn't know how to use it. It's a poster for the local sports team. The Vlad's Landing All Blacks. How does the All Blacks end of game cheer go? I think it's two, four, six, eight. Who will we assassinate? Your mom! Your mom! Yay! I don't want a poster of the local team. It's a drawing of something. If I had to guess, I'd say it's either a picture of a female werewolf carrying a beer stein or a very angry bunny with an axe in its hand. Drawing? Were you inspired by the kid's father? No, this drawing appears to be self-directed and motivated, so it definitely wasn't inspired by their father. Tear down some little kid's picture just for the fun of it? What do you think I am? Some kind of monster? Well, you are a vampire. Isn't that one of those Beano babies? Those have to be the lamest collectible of all time. I collect teapots. Those Beano babies have to be the second lamest collectible of all time. Um, no. I bet or not. If I accidentally crease a tag, its value can plummet. It's the bedroom window. I can't really talk to that. I don't want to let the cold in. It's the bedroom window. Oh, look! One of the kids has a teddy bat. As I've often said, nothing says cute and cuddly more than a bat. I might agree with that if bats didn't eat bugs and lick themselves clean in front of me. Oh, you're so cute. Why, thank you. You're not so bad yourself. I don't feel the need to squeeze anything at the moment. Besides, why go for a pale imitation when you got the real thing right here? Do you stop bathing? In a bath, and we'll talk. It's some kind of chest. I would like to talk to that, but it lacks brains, lungs, and interesting thoughts to share. That is not going to happen.
It's some kind of chest. I would like to talk to that, but it lacks brains, lungs, and interesting thoughts to share. That is not going to happen. It's a Madonna poster. It seems like all the young girls are trying to copy the Madonna look these days. They're all walking around in sandals and a habit. I feel more comfortable praying in a church. If I ever get the ability to enter one again. I already have a poster of the Madonna back at the academy. I don't need another one. It's an interesting collection of flying objects. Wait a minute. I think I know that bat. Uncle Ivan? Is that you? No! No time for play. We need to stay focused on getting those kids to bed. It's Siegfried and Roy. Madame Stoker's two children. Active little munchkins, aren't they? We've got to find some way to get them to sleep. Otherwise, Madame Stoker won't have any time to help us. No, I don't want to hurt the children. Are you sure? Hi, Sarah. My name is Mona. Can you sing a song for us? Please? We like to hear songs while we're falling asleep. Yes, of course. want Who Let the Wolves Out. Can you sing Who Let the Wolves Out? I'm afraid I don't know the lyrics to Who Let the Wolves Out. But I do happen to know several beautiful French lullabies, many of which have been passed down for hundreds of Who Let the Wolves Out? Who Let the Wolves Out? I don't think they want to hear anything else. Where did you boys hear that song? They play it at the stadium all the time. It's our favorite song. Can you teach it to me? If you do, I'll be happy to sing it to you. We don't know all the words. Sing it to us or we won't talk to you anymore. Who let the wolves out? Such lovely children. <laughs> I wonder if they'd fit through that window. Shush, Frederick. I'm going to have to find a way to learn that song. Otherwise, I don't think these children will ever go to sleep. <laughs> 